Doctor Yu! Morgan! Up here, Officer Cool. If we can't open the main door or our friends are gonna pour through. Get up to the catwalk, we'll get you inside. Down in cargo. Hey, listen, uh, did you order any reployers from Earth? Order any what? Reployer. It's a machine. A uh, machine? What does it do? Well, I'm not sure. I was hoping that you could tell me. <gasps> Wait, is this some kind of a joke? I I'm, I'm busy. You're an industrial designer, right? So I thought you would know. <sighs> you obviously don't understand what I do, and I didn't order any deployer. Reploy. Ask somebody in engineering. I did. I've been asking everyone. No one ordered it or knows anything about it. Weird. Well, perhaps I can come down this evening and take a look at it. That'd be great. Thanks, Lane. Yeah, no problem.
I don't think these PPN pistols are gonna do the trick. Not much choice. Gonna have to keep a watch on Igwe. He stirred up some of the organisms getting here. Might do it again. We did a check of all Igwe's equipment. All genuine, no organic matter. He's clean. Thank you for rescuing Officer Shadri. She's... She's all right, isn't she? Dr. Igwe is blessed. It was fortunate you came along when you did. We lost Teague and Remmer during the first stages of the attack. I'm glad you were able to save Rani. Have you seen that golden stuff they make? It's beautiful, but... Fills me with dread. Anyway, Chief Elisar's waiting on you. Dr. Yu? Watching the main door. No movement. Room secure. Chief Elisar will want to talk to you. Dr. Yu, were you up in crew quarters? Have you seen any sign of my wife, Nicole? Last I heard from her, she was on her way there. If you find her, can you help get her here? The thought that she may have become one of those creatures, it... I'm sorry, Dr. Yu. That was out of line. Forgive me. Nicole... So she didn't make it. I... You didn't have to do this, but I... Thank you, ma'am. And Morgan? I owe you an apology. Once you vanished into the sim lab, Sarah asked me to try and learn what I could from the psychotronic staff, discreetly. I took too long, but I... learned you were in the lab without your consent. I didn't even consider that possibility. When we heard, Sarah was quick to begin action against your brother, but then, well, things fell apart. I should have worked harder, dug deeper, especially after all you've risked for us. I'm sorry. We never breathed fresh air together, or stood in the grass together. I don't know if I want to go back to Earth now. Captain Marks officiated our ceremony. You were there, but I don't think you remember. Captain Elazar will want to speak to you. We only recently learned you were still on the station. I'm ready, Dr. Yu. Nothing will get past me. Thank you for saving Officer Chaudhry, Dr. Yu. She has told us of the... telepaths. Officer Hayashi, Dr. Yu.
Her Thanks for saving Igwe was floating in a cargo There's crate outside the others. ship. We need to help as if many of them get to safety as we can. Than any of them. Thanks for getting Chaudhry back to us. She's still rattled. Says the things were in her mind. What is it doing? Oh my god, did it? I think I'm gonna be sick. It just made another one of those things. Like it like it pulled it right out of Enoch's corpse. Ugh. Maybe. I don't know, maybe it saved him. It could still be Enoch. Does it look like it? Sam, promise me you'll kill me if I ever end up like that. Sarah will get us out of this. She got us this far. We're safe in here. For now, I'm going to check the perimeter. The way they just consumed Enoch made him one of them. Is that what they want? I've been watching them for hours. And I still don't know how many of them are out there. They could be anything. Anyone. Chief, Rose here. I've covered Bay 1. Nothing. How solid is your source? Solid. Sweep the area again. Word is the smuggler is moving the contraband out during the next cycle. Maybe if you got me one of those fancy helmets from Psychotronics, that'll speed things up. Not funny. <laughs> Sorry. Sweep the area again and report back. Elazar out. Ekaterina, you still doing all right? I am, Officer Rose. Thank you. It's Al. No burns? No. You pulled me out just in time, Al. Well, you live dangerously, playing with fire like that. I'll try and let you know before I do it again. Please do. It's only polite. <laughs> All right. I'll be back to check on you. Thank you, Al. If you hadn't come along, I'd still be at their mercy. Thank you. Being controlled by those things, it was like I was watching myself, but my voice, my voice was buried inside me. I wanted to scream, but I couldn't even do that. I, I felt like I was drowning in myself. I heard that some of the other security officers, Deeg, Lemma, they didn't make it. Hope the EATs from the Arboretum were useful. On full auto, they should dare those creatures to pieces. Although I'm glad the EAT rounds were designed not to penetrate the hull. I was up in the Arboretum because, well... Sarah asked me to keep an eye on your brother and his visitors. Let her know if I noticed anyone or anything. Odd. Talk about an understatement. 
We were almost set to arrest your brother when the attack happened. Really, I'm fine. I'm glad you came along when you did. There must be some way out of this. Morgan? I thought... I don't know what I thought. It's good to see you. Is Transtar mounting a rescue operation? I was in fuel storage when... when the fire broke out and everyone began running. But they weren't running from the fire, it was these shapes. I had contained the fire and I was trying to reach the power supply when Al, Officer Rose, came and got me out. I'm glad he did. I didn't know what was going on or anything about those things. Everyone I worked with, they're dead, aren't they? I wonder if one of the creatures caused the explosion in fuel storage. Are they intelligent? Did they plan this? I heard all the escape pods malfunctioned. All of them. How is that possible? Rani told us what happened in the Arboretum. Is anywhere on the station safe? How did this all happen? The officers collected those supplies. They're not for you. Where did those things come from? If only I could have put out the fire. It's contained, but I could have done more. Dr. Yu, again, I want to thank you for the timely rescue. I hope you recall me. Dr. Igwe, Dayo Igwe, your brother, Alex, brought me to the station to head up Neuromod research. I have one, but no aptitude template. We're saving it, but, well, now might be best. Here, I'm sure you could make better use of it. Microgravity upsets my equilibrium. I need to steady myself after the slow roll of the crate. I could feel it, turning, you know? My stomach along with it. Closest I've ever come to vertigo. And claustrophobia. Must be a neuromod that could cure that. There's still hope. There must be. God, watching those things move it makes me sick. I work for a living. Captain Elazar's over there. <laughs> Don't tell her I said that. Some of the officers reported seeing glowing structures. Called it coral. The creatures are making it. But why? That thing. It was like it was sewing Enoch into one of their silhouettes. Goddamn waiting is driving me crazy. They're better than being dead. They can't even respect our dead. So you came all this way, only to get back into Talos? Only way in is through the door to Cargo Bay B, which is filled with those creatures that your brother insisted couldn't escape confinement. Kind of like you. I'm the only one with the code. It's yours if you can help us secure the firepower we should have had when assigned here. The Eradicator Turret Fabrication Plan. The- Wait. You have the Fabrication Plan already. My men told me power's been restored to the Fabricator. That was you, wasn't it? I was quick to underestimate you. Doctor, let's get the EATs built, deployed, and then... Then we'll see how fast those bastards can shapeshift into corpses. No turrets, no code. It's for our safety. And yours. We have a medical operator if you need to use it. We've been depending on that thing. So now, you are the first... Against unsanctioned Any luck with those turrets? One. Report shipping anomalies immediately. Hey, 
Are you there? Chief? Yes? Is there something wrong? I wanted to speak to you about the most recent VIP visit. Leitner, the pianist. Chief, if there were any problems, I checked the schedule, the roster. I did my best to make sure Igwe wasn't too... Igwe. Chief, I even had Leitner's cigarettes waiting. You did an excellent job. In fact, Leitner praised you specifically. There'll be a bonus for you in your next pay cycle. Take Nicole out for a nice dinner, all right? Yes, Chief. Thank you, Chief. Dr. Igwe. Figures he'd survive. Dumb luck, I suppose. Don't know if Wiggy. Uh, Dr. Igwe is lucky to be here or not. Might have been safer in his crate. PATs are online and primed. Can't wait until our friends get a taste of these. Here's the code for Cargo Baby. If you find a way out of here, take Dr. Igwe with you. Maybe he can be of some help elsewhere. Showed him. If you ever want a job in security, I don't let me know. Understand. I could put in a good word. I might know some people. Doctor... Morgan. Thank you. I feel like we have a chance now. This... This doesn't wipe away what you and your brother did. But... You're different than I expected. Good in a fight, too. You know, if you ever wanted to work with my team when we get off this death trap, I'd consider it. You'd have to report to me, though. And I'm not as friendly as it may seem. Didn't realize how much I'd missed combat. And how much I didn't. Scanning target target material inconclusive. Locking calibration request.
Can someone please explain to me why there's a delay with my parcel? Sorry, Dr. Berger. The system shut down. Some kind of fail-safe trigger? We're working on it. That parcel is extremely sensitive. I need it in psychotronics right away. I have a crew investigating the point of failure on our side as we speak. ETA is probably a few hours. A few hours? Isn't there anything else you can do? No. But since you have some time, you could call Mr. Yu and ask him for permission to reboot the entire space station. That would fix the problem immediately. That would be ridiculous. Well, since being ridiculous is off the table, I'm afraid you're just gonna have to wait. Maybe I'll check into it myself. I've trained for microgravity. Knock yourself out.
Recycler's where you said it would be, Chief. But the Typhon organisms are all over the place. I might be able to... No, the Recycler's part of it. We'd need more firepower than just our PPNs to cut our way through. We'd need eradicator turrets, and that's why we need the Recycler and the Fabricator plans. Huh. Catch-22. What? Well, you know, chicken and the egg. Which came first? You can't have one without the other, so... Austin. Yes, yes, Chief. Sorry, Chief. Look, it doesn't matter, though. The power's down in here. The Class 4 power circuit, the blast and fuel storage must have damaged the connection. Hold on. Keep positioned by the catwalk. Morgan Yu may be joining us shortly. Keep an eye out for her. Morgan? I thought I felt a chill. Didn't we have an inspection just last week? Send her to me. And stay alert. Maddox, did you lock down that door? It's locked down. Seal tight. Send me the code, then forget you ever knew it. Can't have anyone doing what Teague did. Enough lives have been lost today. You got it, Chief. Sending it now. Good. Stay alert, Maddox. Dr. Yu, it's been three days. I'm following up to see... Was my answer not clear? Not until you give me an answer that makes sense. You've told me about the organisms. You admit you don't know everything about their physiology. I've read the reports, I've read what they can do. Yet the weapons you've provided us are substandard, especially considering the technology present on the station. The Typhon is secure. Your job is to keep the employees pointed in the right direction. You don't need military firepower for that. We are the best for a reason, Dr. Yu. It would be in your interest to invest a little more in light of the unusual circumstances. If even one of those organisms escapes... Thank you for your suggestion, Chief Elazar. I'll take it under advisement. Do not contact me again about this matter. Log entry. Chief Elazar. I and five of my officers, plus one civilian, are sealed in the cargo bay. Attempts to reach the escape pods have failed. Escape pod malfunction, it seems. All of them. Almost three dozen lives were lost as we attempted to correct the problem. But we were forced to retreat, only to find the elevators had also been locked down. With no other option available, we secured ourselves in the cargo bay. Officers Teague and Remmer, in order to help the last remaining survivors, attempted to mount a rescue operation. We are surrounded. The creatures on the station, they have escaped confinement. As expected, standard munitions proved ineffective. The creatures began to multiply among the people they killed. We are fortifying our position, looking for anything that could help us defend ourselves. If we do not survive, commendations are in order for officers Hayashi, Hertz, Haig, Kuhl, and Rose and posthumous commendations Attention. for Teague Incoming and Remmer. Earth have been Hertz, delayed. check the comm. Personnel See if you can raise anyone on the station through the announcement system. Then... By a supervisor.